Hello my dear students welcome to our channel MST physics where physics get charged in the today's video we will discuss the time period of a pendulum of charged one is present in the electric field okay so previously in the mechanics we learned when the time period of any pendulum t is equals to 2 pi under root of l by g in the presence of gravity only but here the importance of this uh, application is of course it is a mass to one but we are giving some charge to this and applying some external electric field and uh, set into oscillations when it may set into oscillations it has certain time period our intention is to find the time period in the presence of electric field it is in the absence of electric field okay so in presence of electric field in external electric field the t dash can be written as 2 pi under root of l by g net or g effective we can write g effective why because the net acceleration due to gravity will be changes because of in addition to the gravitational force there is electric force on it so to find that as here the weight of the bob is acting vertically downwards and this electric force is also be downwards is called free body diagram here on point mass so the net force on this or the effective force on this can be written as mg plus qe so g effective can be written as this by taking mass common effect f, f, effective by mass is a g effective this is equals to we can write g plus q e by m therefore the effective time period t dash is equals to we can write 2 pi under root of l by g effective is a g plus q e by m g pi G, 2 pi under root of L by G plus QE by M. As the denominator fraction increases, the net, net time period what happens here decreases, right? So, now the same mechanism, well, can, we can apply in the mechanics. So, if you are remembered, we are taking the pendulum is connected to the roof of the lift or elevator and this elevator is moving upwards with an acceleration A with an acceleration a then we are derived the time period of this is t is equals to 2 pi under root of l by g plus a where a is the acceleration of the elevator g is the acceleration due to gravity and l is the effective length of the pendulum similarly here also this l is the effective length of the pendulum which is measured from point of suspension to the center of gravity of the bob and here we are giving some charge to this mass particle and applying the external electric field so its time period is changes how it is we are discussed and this the same uh, uh, make, uh, application is placed in the lift then how it is changes if you remember 2 pi under root of l by g plus a in the mechanics right so now we will take uh, the uh, by changing the direction of electric field okay now if i am applying the ex external electric field in upward direction it is a positively charged one so that now in this case the forces on this are the weight of the bob is mg is acting vertically downwards as is a positively charged one so that now the force is upward direction which is a q into e then the effective force on this bob will changes as mg minus q e so by taking f common f effective by mass is equals to we can write g minus q e by m this is what said to be g effective so when this g effective is equals to we can write g minus q e by m when the effective acceleration due to gravity is changes so the time period is also be changes so the time period t dash is equals to 2 pi under root of l by g minus q e by m means again now in this case the denominator fraction is decreases so the time period is start to increases in the first case we have discussed to the positive charge the electric field is downwards the second case to the positive charge electric field is upwards now in the next case we will discuss the electric field is acting horizontally okay before to this now I, again i am comparing the same this phenomena uh, with the pendulum is again connecting to the elevator roof of the elevator and this elevator is accelerating now downwards with an acceleration a and it makes the oscillation then what should be the time period of this and again there we got t is equals to 
टू पाई अंडर रूट ऑफ एल बाई जी प्लस ए इज इन द मैकेनिक्स एंड इन द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी हियर बिकॉज ऑफ एक्सलरेटिंग दिस लिफ्ट एक्सलरेटिंग लिफ्ट द टाइम पीरियड ऑफ द पेंडुलम इज चेंजेस हियर बिकॉज ऑफ अप्लाइंग एक्सटर्नल इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड टू दिस चार्ज वॉक द टाइम पीरियड इज चेंजेस ओके so now here the electric field is acting horizontal direction so because of acting horizontally so this positively charged particle is experiencing the force in the direction of electric field so that the bob get displaces in the direction of electric field and uh, to the angular displacement theta so at this point when you are coming to the forces on this in the horizontal direction the electric force qe and uh, the weight of this bob acting vertically downwards is the mg so here now we can write uh, the net force on this bob so as this force of weight and uh, electric force are right angles to each other the net force will become mg whole square plus qe whole square because of their right angles to each other okay so by this here by taking m common m under root of g square plus q e by m whole square i'm taking m square inside the bracket common and outside the root it will become m so f net by m is equals to under root of g square plus q e by m whole square therefore this is what gives the net acceleration is under root of g square plus q e by m whole square is the net acceleration of the bob so because of changing net acceleration of the bob the time period is also be changes so t dash is equals to 2 pi under root of l by again under root of g square plus q e by m whole square is the time period here see once again i am taking the positively charged one and applying the electric field is rightward sir if i am applying the electric field leftward what happens sir sir nothing problem so this will be displaced towards left and again making the oscillation the, the again the net time period is same only i am already told you that this directions and this plus or minus of the equations will changes accordingly the sign of the charge as well as the applied direction of electric field okay students and now you can compare this phenomena in the mechanics with a when you are taking a, a one trolley or a car okay is moving with a certain acceleration a moving with a certain acceleration a and you are connecting one pendulum to the roof of this moving car with an acceleration moving with an acceleration a so that because of it moving in a forward direction it experiencing the pseudo force at backward so that pseudo force on this is a ma is at leftward and the weight of this bob is acting vertically downwards so the resultant of these two again because of right angles to each other under root of ma square plus mg square so in this case the time period t is equals to 2 pi under root of l by again under root of g square plus a square see if you are observing in every comparison just i am replacing a with a q e by m why because we know force is f is equal to q e then acceleration is the f by m is the q e by m a q e by m whole square in the second case g minus q e by m in the first case g plus a g plus q e by m so this is a way the time period is changes when i am giving the charge to the bob and uh, i am applying the external electric field and depends on the direction of applied electric field again the corresponding time period expressions are changes now i would like to coming to the another fourth case so in this case i am placing one similar charge at the point of suspension i am placing there and uh, no electric field is applied but no electric field applied which means E is equals to zero. Then how the time period is changes is the question. So basically, time period t is equals to again we have two pi under root of l by g. Fine. But when uh, I am uh, placing the identical charge there, so at the at this point when you are coming to the forces on this r, weight is acting vertically downwards because of this angular displacement. This weight will be resolving into two mutually perpendicular components. One is mg cos theta because of this theta. 
these two angles are same and here it is mg sin theta and one more force will acts on this charged particle is the force of repulsive between uh, these two charges so here we can write the electric force is away from it only is by this uh, free boy diagram of the forces on this bob so there is a force along the string only changes and there is no change in the restoring force on the block means this electric force does not provide any component in the direction of restoring force when the restoring force does not changes then does the time period is changes no as the restoring force mg sin theta does not changes means it is a remain same and it, it does not providing any any component of this electric force in the direction of a restoring force so therefore time period remains same time period remains same here okay which means again you can write the time period t dash as 2 pi under root of l by g so once again i am taking the same case but i am not applying the electric field instead of applying the electric field i am placing another identical charge at the point of suspension and uh, again to make this uh, bob oscillate so during this oscillations how the time period changes is my fourth case so in this uh, the repulsive force and the component of weight are in one direction the mg sin theta is the restoring force so because of this electric force the mg sin theta means restoring force does not changes it is not affected by that electric force so that the time period is remains same this this is a way we can take the different cases of this uh, oscillations of pendulum in the electric field by giving some charge to it okay thank you thank you for watching if you like my videos do like share comment and subscribe my channel to get more videos